Fires burned in central Kiev as a tense standoff between protesters and police continued throughout the night. The area near Parliament looked like a battlefield after a day of violence which has shocked many Ukrainians. Tens of thousands are said to have filled Independence Square in the hope that their sheer numbers will deter further police action. Others are preparing for the worst, but most protesters appear resolute. What began in anger at President Yanukovych's turn away from Europe has become a call for him to quit after introducing new anti-protest laws. Our leader just seized all the power and look what's going on here. People are trying somehow to return the legitimacy back to our country. With Ukrainians divided over the protests, some people are there due to humanitarian concerns. Are you a doctor? Yeah, yeah I'm a pediatrician. But uh, I work uh, in hospital, and uh, after finish my work, I came here for help. After two months of unrest, police stormed the protesters' barricades on Wednesday, enforcing the new legislation. At least five people were killed, two from gunshot wounds, although the government says the police do not have live ammunition. Another 300 or so were injured. It's a toll which looks set to rise.